People often ask me, you know, what was the most exciting showing you've ever been at? And for me, there's no doubt about it. It was the first showing in the Soviet Union. For all the years that those of us grew up in deep fear of communism in the Soviet Union, to do an open showing there was, was simply spectacular. I was met by the KGB in big black Chica limousines with a ticker tape parade almost like down through the center of Tbilisi to the largest hall that they had, the Philharmonic Hall, in the country. And there, by invitation only, were over 2,000 members of the Georgia Communist Party and all the leaders, the vice president of the, co the country, the cabinet, the uh, head of the Georgian Orthodox Church, the poet laureate of Georgia, everybody who was anybody was at that showing that night. And because it was a first showing, we didn't know how it was going to go. How are they going to receive this? And our, we were especially worried when we got to the end where the Pray With Me invitation was. Are they going to walk out? What's going to happen? And we're just told it. They, I said, go ahead and show it. Don't say anything. See what happens. And it was absolutely quiet. And when it got to the end of the invitation, they didn't pray silently. The whole crowd was praying out loud. And tears are running down my, I can't believe it. Uh, in the Soviet Union, people are praying out loud to receive Christ. And when, it, when the lights came on, there was a standing ovation for the next five minutes. And people stayed afterwards for hours just wanting to talk to us. They'd come up and they couldn't speak English, they'd just grab our hands and cry. And these were the, this was the communist Soviet Union where this was happening. And then we, we had them actually fill out comment cards of what they thought of the film. And uh, an 80 year old man said, in my, my whole life, these have been the finest two hours of my life. You know, another comment was, we need this film more than bread. And it was one after another, tonight I found hope. So for me, that was the most spectacular. If enough people get changed, the country gets changed, uh, it really happens. And I think the realization came to me when I, I was in southern Kenya and I talked to a, a woman who had received Christ. She was a Maasai. And she began to give me her testimony. And she said, you know, Maasai men beat us women every day because they don't know if we're faithful or not. And if we still stay, then they think we're okay. But we expect to be beaten every day. And then after my husband saw the Jesus film, he stopped beating me. And I wondered if he cared about me anymore. And then I saw the film and I realized that his heart had changed inside. And I realized here was something affecting a culture. And then I began to, to go to other countries and when I was in West Africa, found that they were taking the Jesus film to rebel warring groups. So I, I have no doubt that Jesus changes not only lives, but families, cities, and nations.